Greetings, I, the War Al, greet to you, and I'm going to be showing you here once again another 5 vs. 5 Counter-Strike Global Offensive match, and this one is going to be from DreamHack Winter 2013. It is game number 2 between the Ninjas in Pajamas and Very Games. Game number 1 did go very, very close game to the Ninjas in Pajamas, and we now move on here to game number 2 of this Best of 3 series, this time on Inferno. And Very Games will have a little bit of an advantage in this. They are taking CT side first. So here's the ninjas in pajamas. Oh, look at this. Shocks. Pixeling here at apartments. But exists. Takes them down. Shoots them through the wall. Goodness. Now it looks like Terrace are getting ready to take bomb site A. Here is Smith Z to hold it off. Three players inside of the apartments to push in. And he grabs two frags with that USP. There's another one. Wow. Great job there by Smith Z. Holding that off, Counter Terrorist moving in to retake this site, puts it into a two versus one just for Flaren left, is jumping around all over the place, inside of the pit, and very tense situation, first round is so important, and he does go down, NBK picks him, very nice job by Smith Z to hold that off, grab those two frags there at the apartments, very quick reflexes, very good shot, and we move on to round number two. And because of the fear of a P250 armor buy, Counter Terrorists will be buying everything that they can. Ninjas in Pajamas planning right here, taking the time. And they will be full saving, will not be doing P250 army bar, armor buy. So this will hurt Very Games a little bit because they spent all their money here. On this third round, they have those Fomuses, which are, um, you can't really upgrade those. They're expensive weapons, not like uh, that shotgun there that Scream has, which he will be able to upgrade if he so chooses on the next round. All right, and terrorists. Looking like they're getting ready to just charge into A. We have one player at B to make some noise. That's gonna be Freebird. And he is making some noise. Players now will get ready to just charge into the bomb site. Nope, they're falling back. Gonna be coming out of Boiler Room. And not sure where they're going at this point. We have NBK and Shocks to hold this off. They are actually going over at uh, Archway side. So here's Smith Z once again in position to hold it off. And he's got to take down all five here. 15 rounds left. Takes down four of them. One player gets by and NBK picks up the last frag. Once again, Smith Z looks like he is just on in this game and Ninjas in Pajamas gets owned. Goodness, they got rolled. Third round now and Ninjas in Pajamas will be buying on this third round and they will be able to afford um, helmets, Armor and AK-47, Forest and Get Right, however, do not have Helmet. You need Helmet. This M4 here, held by Scream, will do a one-hit kill, as well as the M4 by Smith Z, to the head of a few of these terrorist players. However, AK-47 is a very good weapon, especially going against those Fomuses, so Ninjas in Pajamas has a good chance of winning this round. And they are setting up middle. Looks like they're setting up to do some kind of an A take. We have defensive smokes going down. They push through the smoke and take middle. NBK had the smoke out and was not in position to get that frag. And it looks like Ninjas in Pajamas is in great position here. Shocks inside of the pit to hold them off. Free burst trying to shoot him down. Oh, does go down. Now going to be a three versus two. Now just going to be exist left one versus two. He does have that bomb and he's rotating back over to B. And we do have both of the counter terrorists now inside of A. As you can see, they have a long path to go to get into bomb site B and exist will definitely get there before them. They are still checking around, checking their corners, looking where these players are. And now should be a full on sprint to try and retake this site. So Exist has got to do an expert hold off. He's going into a very standard uh, position here, hiding in the back of the site. He just has to play the bomb. Normally in a situation like this, a player will try to take um, advantage of the construction where you can come from two different sides. Instead, Exist is going to be playing it ninja style, hiding in a little corner in the back. But this is a common corner that these players will peek. And there goes Existence. We'll be checking around to find out where that player is. As Shox goes for the defuse. Very close, but he does get it. And Very Games now will start this thing. Three points to zero. And Ninjas in Pajamas will probably have to save. Actually, they can buy. It wouldn't be a good buy, but they can buy. And they will instead be saving. Full saving here. So we'll have another round here where uh, Very Games has pretty much got it. Ninjas in Pajamas. That was a great round there. That third round from Very Games. Able to hold off that push by Ninjas in Pajamas. 
All right, and where are the saving players going to go? Let's take the time. Oh, what? Actually, Get Right does have an AK-47, so they're playing the one AK-47 strategy. If Get Right goes down, another player will pick this thing up. Of course, Get Right does have armor. Not sure why he did that, though. He spent a lot of money on that. Oh, he's actually evened himself up if you check out the economy with his teammates. So I guess it's a, hey, we're able to afford it. Might as well go for a few frags with this thing. Does not have a helmet. And if he can grab the pick here at B, they can get a bomb plant. That'll give them a bunch of money for next round. Existence has got to hold this thing off. He's got five players creeping up on him. Get right misses the shot. Oh, no. And we do have Scream rotating back here to help. Now looks like terrorists are going to be trying at bomb site A. They've rotated back. They still have the bomb over at B, and there's three players holding it off. Now is the time. There's a few seconds where if they struck at A, they would have a good chance of taking it. And we have a pre-nade there by Smith Z. Taking out Freebird. Going to be get right. Trying to move into this site with this AK-47. One man army here. Kind of pretty much ace this thing. Counter terrorists are rotating back. They are trying to once again go archway to B. This did not work out the last time. Oh no, get right does go down. Now just going to be exist left. Ow, gets shot in the face and flies across the map. Another round two very games that AK-47 buy by Ninjas and Pajamas did not pay off at all. And they will here be able to full buy on round number five. Very game starting this thing out. Very strong here on CT side. Able to hold off that surprise buy by Ninjas and Pajamas on that third round. And Very Games is accruing themselves. A lot of money. AK-47s to boot. Three of them. Which they have liberated from the enemies. Ooh, NBK tries to pull back because there's a pre-name coming down there. So we have a three-player stack at B at the start of the game, and then players will rotate back. Actually, it looks like they're trying to take position at B. And we have terrorists getting ready to do an A take. Existence has been smoked off from pushing down B. Terrorists now getting ready to push. And it will be a split inside of A. Three players will be going out the construction. Two players will be coming out here at middle. Well, actually, it looks like they left one player behind to go after rotators. So we'll see pulls into the site. And now it looks like Terrace will be getting ready to push into the site. NBK, though, is in position underneath the balcony. Doing a great job and takes the last frag on Get Right as well. Very nice job by Very Games. Again, holding off the ninjas in pajamas. Ninjas in Pajamas not able to make anything happen here. And we haven't seen a lot of uh, nades and smokes by Ninjas in Pajamas when they try to take those sites. Normally when uh, teams go and try to take the site, you see a whole bunch of flashes come down. A lot of strategically placed smoke grenades. We haven't seen a lot of that from the Ninjas in Pajamas thus far in this game. Their strategies have been pretty straightforward. They've tried that take on A with three players going um, through the apartments here a few times. It, it has not worked out at all for them. So again, very games. Doing the three-player stack at B just in case it's a push. Scream going for some nice headshots there. And not getting it. Freebird slides out and takes him, though, but it is a trade. One for one. Scream for Freebird. We do have Existence now holding this thing off. Terrorists moving around the map. They can go anywhere at this point, and they do a position at middle. Interesting to note, Very Games has uh, given control of middle a number of times. And that player is now peeking where Smith Z looks. Oh, did see a little shoulder peeking out there. But Flaren went for the shot and did miss it, giving himself away. Mm, giving his teammate a flash there to allow Smith Z to try to take out uh, Flaren. And Flaren does take some damage off of Smith Z. Terrace getting ready to push here. Oh, they're doing it again. Oh, this time they will be taking A, not going to be going boiler side. But there are a lot of counter terrorists in wait here. This is going to be a difficult take. Flaren and Get Right now moving in. Flaren taking a forward position. Get Right dodging that um, flash very nicely. Now just Get Right left. Oh, doing some good shooting. Not able to take out shots, and that will be that. Ninjas in pajamas. Goodness, I don't know if this is recoverable. They are now starting off this game 6-0 to zero against them. They have zero points now, and they're forced to save once again. Another save round here from Ninjas in Pajamas. Let's see if Very Games are doing a little different strategy on CT side this time. This time putting three players over at A. They may know that this is a save just by manner of the economy. And making sure nobody's pushing B and then pulling back. Playing it passive here on CT side. 
allowing Ninja's Yamas to take a lot of position. Now, I've noticed a lot, there's the defensive smoke at middle. We've noticed um, a lot of times Very Games has given this whole middle position to the ninjas in pajamas. This is generally a place where teams will try to hold off. They'll have one vantage point here, sort of like how they're doing this time. Another vantage point here um, to make sure these players can't push out and take middle. They've sort of been allowing them to have it the first few rounds in this thing. Now that they're going to be saving players, they're pushing up just a little bit. And Freebirds tries to run through the smoke, but Existence does spam it and takes him down. Smith Z could be taken out here. I think the terrorists know where he is. Oh, they don't know where he is. Shocks giving himself away. Oh, what? Shocks takes out Smith Z. Oh, goodness. Terrorists have uh, caused a friendly fire incident there. Very nice job as Get Right has an M4 and armor and helmet. One versus three now. Counter Terrorists moving in to take him. Dodging shots by NBK. And finally, we'll go down to Scream. Ninjas in Pajamas loses it once again. All right, now, Very Game starting this thing off very strong. Playing a good CT sign. And yeah, instead of allowing them to have position, or by not giving them position middle, they can set up one player with advantage here, one player with advantage here or here, just sort of locking off this back halls area to make sure they can't get to B. And then one player here inside of A to hold it off along with um, two players here at B. So it's a good setup by Very Games. It's been working out for them. And there's the defensive. Those are expensive Molotov, but Very Games has uh, got a bunch of cash on hand. NBK does go down, though. Get right, getting ready to pick Shocks. Shock sneaks into Dark Room just in time. There's the pre-nade. Get right should know that this player is here now and will probably peak this position. And Shock still waiting. Get right. He knows where Shox is. Knows that he flashed him. Shox showed his back there. Get right could have grabbed the frag, but he did pull back. Shox now moving down to the boiler room. And looks like we have Terrace taking bomb site B. Smith Z not able to hold it off. Shox. Looks like he's getting ready now to rotate. One versus four. Get right's job is always to go after those rotators. See him now still creeping around inside of the apartments, but Shox is all the way here in CT spawn. And shoots a chicken just for good measure. Just to make sure. Just to strike fear into the hearts of his enemies. He is actually saving at this point. Get right is hunting him, waiting for him to rotate into A site to save. Instead, he will stay in CT spawn and go for those exit frags. So Get right could now push out. All of the exiting players will be going down banana, though, so um, Shocks will have no chance to get exit frags. However, Ninjas in Pajamas are not hunting Shocks, so no blood will be spilled. Unless Shocks stands too close to that bomb radius. But he will not. All right, first point there to Ninjas in Pajamas doing their standard let's leave get right by himself over on one side of the map while we charge the other. And it works out. Now, that is a very strong strategy. You leave get right by himself over here. He can be in any of these positions. And uh, then the rest of them push into bomb site B. What this does is this keeps at least two players waiting at A to deal with that one player that's left behind. As well as once the players are ta or once terrorists are able to take the spawn, Get Right can then go for those rotating players. So there we have a nade taken out. Exists nade stack at banana as these terrorists for I think the first time ever try to charge up it. So very good game sense again there from Very Games to throw that nade stack down and prevent those players from pushing. Now Get Right just got picked. Trying his apartment thing. Did get picked by a player who was inside of the pit. All right, Terrace now getting ready to push at middle. Smith Z is in position. There's a good runaway flash. Double flashing it. And it's into a good position here. Rotates back to Limeberry. They should know that a player is trying to do this. Oh no. Took a little bit of damage there. And Terrace are now in a scary position. Smith Z to hold them off. They do smoke out that archway side. But we have a smoke here preventing them from pushing into the bomb site. They're in a scary position. Don't know if those counter terrorists can be rotating from any side to take them down. Counter terrorists playing it safe. Two players still in B just in case they rotate back. There's a good smoke to prevent that player from getting those frags. Now, just at one little spot there at truck where they can peek. And it pays off, though. NBK is able to get the shot. Oh, goodness. Faflera not able to land the shot on NBK, who was ducking um, down and up, down and up. Playing the little whack a mole there. Whack a mole. Very Games now eight points to one. Ninjas in Pajamas is definitely in trouble here. 
But keep in mind, if Ninjas in Pajama wins this game, they will win this series and knock out Very Games. If Very Games wins, it'll push it into game number three. And it looks like Very Games is, I mean, I don't know if this is a recoverable situation here from Ninjas in Pajamas. Eight points here from Very Games here on CT side, and it doesn't look like it's going to let up anytime soon. This time, they've gone to this sort of 2-3 um, split where they have two players B, three at A in standard positions. This time, Smithy playing a little bit more forward. They're switching up what they're doing every once in a while, not doing the same thing, so that these terrorists can't pre-shoot them. However, Get Right does pre-shoot Smith Z, hits him in the shoulder as he's peeking around the corner. Terrorists have dropped the bomb. They're going for a picks at this point. They're all over the map. We actually have Get Right, who's uh, snuck through the smoke there at middle. Again, Very Games gives them middle. This is sort of like a trap. It's a trap as they try to push over here at Archway side. And Smith C in position to deal with this does not have an off. Good shot by Get Right. This will open up Archway side. They can go anywhere at this point, and they will be deciding to go to bomb site B. They'll be doing a split B. Three players moving through, but Shocks trying to get a position here to um, catch them off guard, and he does. Wow, love that flip shot. Flipping around and taking out Get Right, who was sneaking up behind him. Scream holding it off as well. Terrorists do a position inside of the site, though they snuck through, and counter terrorists now have to play the retake. NBK coming up the banana. Oh, there is Exist, is out of position, timing that nade perfectly, but oh no, was not able to control the spray well enough um, to take out Exist there. That is going to be NBK going down. Now a two, uh, three versus two retake. And Scream grabbing the frags. Existence sneaking up behind Exist, who it knows about it and is waiting. And he does take him down, but Scream grabs the last frag. Great retake by Fairy Games, who's now searching for the bomb and will be able to defuse that thing for another win. Brilliant round there, and Fairy Games will keep their lead. Not letting up anytime soon, but that was probably the closest to a win that Ninjas in Pajamas has uh, gotten there, except for that round where they actually did win. Wow, oh, great job. Very Games is playing a brilliant CT side. Let's check out at the start here. How they set up. So, okay, this is new. They're sending... No, nah, not sure what Smith Z is doing. Sending three players here over at B just in case it's a push. Playing it very aggressively, throwing the nade stack. And then one player, that'll be NBK, rotates back. We have Smith Z, who's been playing Archway side nearly the whole time, while well, Shock stays pit and makes sure nobody comes boiler or apartments until NBK can get in position here at the boiler room. Then Shocks will play full apartments. So that's very smart. It's been working out, and at this point, they give position of middle to the Ninjas in Pajamas, and this is the timing where Ninjas in Pajamas will start to peak here at middle. So they've given it to um, Ninjas in Pajamas once again, and Smith Z is in this position where he's been playing very well. Not been getting big. We've seen a lot of little peaks from Very Games. They've been peaking successfully and not going down. So, wow. These rounds have been going the same every time. This is a new smoke by Forrest there. This will uh, prevent Smith Z from doing anything. Will he push through that smoke? No, he'll give it to him. So now, um, Terrace do have position to do a split B. They can do it if they want. Instead, they're pulling all their players back to go B and j leaving just Forrest here to do the split B. So Forrest is going to try and come in uh, from behind as these players push into bomb site B. Will he get those frags? And Terrace are waiting for Forrest to get into position. He's walking there. That Molotov will delay them. Oh, they're going to defuse it! Or uh, 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 just extinguish it. Now we'll be pushing into the site. Forrest does get the vantage point and sneaks up behind that player. The Flaren grabbing the last frag on Exist. And now counter terrorists are going to try to retake it. Pushing through that smoke very aggressively here. And trying to take this site right away. Not waiting for that smoke to clear. Does take out Get Right. Good vantage point there as Shox sneaks in from the back. Now going to be just one player left and they will take it. Very Games with another great retake. Will get another point putting themselves at 10 points to 1. They're absolutely dominating the ninjas in pajamas on this map. Wow, what a great round there. These rounds are getting closer and closer. Ninjas in pajamas getting that much closer to finally grabbing some points. But, goodness, it is a little bit too late for that. They've already lost so many points here. Quota on T side has got to be about six fra or uh, six points. They have a possible five now, so they cannot meet that quota. 
It is now a dire straits here for the ninjas in pajamas. They gotta win the rest of these things to put themselves in a position where they have a chance of coming back and winning this game. But uh, as it's going, I don't know. They're trying something different this time. No, they're sort of doing the same thing. Two players at B. Now is the time to push B, though. All of Very Games has rotated back, so they've successfully faked um, a A take. Now is the time to take B. They have that bomb to continue to take A. That's not the right call. Good defensive smoke. By exists. Oh, Freebirds does take him down. Now is the time to push through that smoke. And Freebirds will be pushing through that smoke. Another smoke going down. And he does go down, not doing it fast enough. Exist in position. And get right. Gets surprised by NBK, who's behind him. Forces him out into the line of fire. That was just a, that was a clumsy position for get right. He did go down. Two players left versus four. Probably not going to happen. Exist in Fafleren here. And Exist is leading his team in frags. Fafleren and Forrest only have two. Ninjas in pajamas is just not doing a good job on this half. Fafleren going for the pick on NBK. He's been trying to hit this player here so many times, but NBK has been able to outmaneuver him every single time. And again, just hitting him through the wall there. And he does get it, though. Fafleren grabs the frag. Will be trying to get a bomb plant for that money as exists. Holds him off long enough, and he does get it. Now a one versus two. Fafleren has got to hold it off. This is such a difficult position to be in. And not able to control that spray. Will be going down. Will get another defuse here. Very Games takes another point. But that was actually a really nice try there by Exist and Fafleren to retake that site. All right, Very Games... 11 points to 1 now. Forcing ninjas in pajamas. They can buy. I don't know what they're waiting for here. I don't know why I was saying forcing them into a save. Because they can definitely buy. Another round. This is just not working out for ninjas in pajamas. Everything they try has been failing at just, just a little, little end there. They are so close to getting these points. Alright, this time Very Games is not playing the heavy B side. They're not putting three players right away. Two players did the nade stack and then fell back. Could be trying to hold it off with those defensive uh, smokes. Existence peaks. And playing a little bit more aggressively here at middle at well. Very Games is uh, switching up their CT side setup. And Ninjas in Pajamas is playing ever more passively. They've set themselves up to take bomb site B, though. They need to smoke that right side. And they've got three smokes between them. Not any many flashes. Two flashes between them. So pretty much what they want to do now is set themselves up to take a site. And it looks like they're going to be taking B. Leaving Get right by himself. Oh, they're leaving Exist this time by himself. Maybe because Exist is the one grabbing all these frags. This is an interesting setup by Ninjas in Pajamas. Deciding to put Exist over there instead of Get right. And there's the smoke. Now we'll be pushing in. They have one shot at this. They only have two flashes, so they have to continue to push here. And they will. There's even a Molotov, and they're forced to run through this thing. Terrorist. Oh, no. Fafleren does not run through that Molotov. Exists still alive. Rotates all the way up. Banana. Not a good position there for Fafleren up on top of uh, the school there. Nowhere to hide. And the terrorists all do go down. Not able to take that site. That was just because they were money hurt. They only had one shot at taking the site. Not enough sm uh, smokes and flashes. Very game seemed to be aware of that. Throwing down the Molotov as they try to run in there. That Molotov is to say, back off, guys. But Ninjas in Pajamas could not back off. They had to go for it. And here they go again. Going to be buying when they have to have two Galils on the field. Not even able to full buy. Very Games is dominating this game. And smoke to allow Smith Z to get by. He's got an auto sniper. And playing very aggressively here in the apartments. Does take a shot. We've seen a lot of wall bangs on this map. NBK moving up uh, aggressively in the apartments. Actually throws a defensive smoke in the apartments. I haven't seen that, like, ever. And Terrace now have position apartments. They don't even care about that smoke. NBK in the sneaky position as Terrace get ready to take middle. Smith Z has been forced back. Spraying that auto sniper. Terrace now have a good position to take the bomb site. Screams rotating. And here they go now. Terrace will be rotating into the site. Oh, get right, Mario's a player. Terrorists do have the site. Counter Terrorists trying to retake this thing. Not an easy job. Smith Z already takes two frags with this auto sniper as he moves to take the site. And does get taken down. 
Two versus three retake. They can still do it. Scream and Existence. Very good Maltov there. Will force Faflarin out. Now all up to Scream. Two players very low. Faflarin whittling him down from the pit. And he does go down to Freebergen. Looks like Ninjas in Pajamas takes a point. Finally setting themselves up on his last round to take this last point. Puts themselves at three points. But very games is so far ahead. I don't know if that is going to matter. But they did it. They finally did it. And it, it all came to, uh, you know, doing the strategy that they were doing and failing at earlier in this half. And that was pushing players through apartments and jumping over. And they were able to Mario NBK. Always fun to watch that happen. Oh, Exist grabs a frag at B. Grabs two frags. Now's the time to push B. Existence knows this, and he's got to hold off. He's thrown everything he has. He's got a smoke left. He extinguishes his own Molotov. Sort of panics and throws all of his nades at one time. Trying to play these players through the smoke. Had good position, but Freebirds knew where he was based on the sound effects there. And Shox, even though three players have died at B, Shox rotates over here. Terrace throwing stuff saying, we're pushing in at B. Now looks like another round here for Ninjas in Pajamas. Smithy to hold off A by himself. Ninjas in Pajamas playing it passive. I don't know. And that was a good pick there. Does take out Get Right, shoots him in the face. And Smith Z holding off this site by himself. Does finally go down, just shocks left. Runs in with a knife and dies, and that'll give Ninjas in Pajamas three points for this half. Very Games dominating this game, 12. And we will resume for the second half, and it's all going to come down to this pistol round. We shall now commence the second half. Check out that scoreboard. Smith Z, 25 frags in the first half. He is doing so well, absolutely dominating this game. All right, here we go. This pistol round is so important for the ninjas in pajamas. They really have to win this if they want a chance to win this game. They got to fully hold off. There is not much room for any errors. Forrest is charging down middle. Take the uh, world-famous pistoling champion here and have him charge down middle at the start. Terrorists now can take A because there's no one there. Counter-terrorists holding B very aggressively. Now rotating back to try and take A. Just um, Freiburg here to hold it off. And takes out that chicken. So that he gets vision of shocks. That was a... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, there was a reason to killing that chicken. Counter-terrorists have now rotated into a better position. Ooh, NBK looking at both sides. Does get the frag off of Forrest. And now counter-terrorists are in some trouble. Ninjas in pajamas as has to start feeling the fear here as Very Game sets up to take one of these two sites. And get right here. The only player to watch B is playing it very far forward. And Terrace now will be charging forward here at B. Getting ready to take down Get Right. Who is valiantly trying to hold this thing off. Smith Z charging in, drops the bomb, says, Here, hold this for me. I got a job to do. Moves in and gets shot in the face. Twitches on the ground and looks like terrorists. Oh, what? <clears throat> Burst fire, Glock to the face, jumping NBK. Shocks and NBK take the site. Just need to get this bomb down so they can buy. They got enough rounds that they only have to take a few wins. They need to get that bomb plant. There was a fake plant to allow NBK to grab that frag. Shocks firing rounds all over the place. Oh, no, that's not the corner you want. What was Faflarin doing? What was that? Faflarin had an easy shot. The player had his bomb out. was just like, oh, well, I'm dead. And Faflarin couldn't land the shot. Oh, my. And Ninjas in Pajamas gets it. And they will stay in this game. And here they go now. We'll be buying fully because we are awaiting our world famous, our favorite strategy, the P250 armor buy. And just Smith Z, who does not buy that armor and helmet. And here they go now, Very Games. They've been doing this every single second round that they've lost the pistol round. Wow, look at this jump here by Scream. Definitely doing some B hop practice. And they're doing it. They're going for wall bangs with pistols. Goodness. All right, Terrace moving around the map, checking all the positions. Yep, yeah, no one there. No one there. Your turn, NBK. NBK says, all right, no one there. Terrace have taken position middle. Ninjas in pajamas giving it to him, playing it much like Very Games played it. And Exist, though, going to be throwing a defensive smoke to prevent those players from pushing here at Archway side. 
NBK doesn't care. He's spraying through it. But Get Right is charging through that smoke. Taking these players down. Takes down Shocks with a nice shot. Now just going to be existence left. That round did not work out for Very Games. This map is turning out to be a little bit CT sided here in this matchup. Oh no. And they did get rolled. Only five damage there. Done to ninjas in pajamas in that round. I feel like I'm the stupid pop-up. I'm the stupid pop-up thing that comes up here and says, only five damage done to the team that nobody cares about. And get right jumped 32 times that round. And very games here will be forced to save fully. P250 armor buy not working out this time. Famously did work out for them here. On Inferno. And they will be saving, playing a passive game. What are they doing? Are they, are they the ones shooting? Yeah, they're shooting all over the place. Making some noise. Pretending to be decoys, maybe? Shock shooting out all the little things there. Making sure there's nobody in dark room. And we do have Force at the end of the hall. When the CT split up too much, they can get picked. So Ninjas in Pajamas is, you can see that, you can already see the difference between Ninjas in Pajamas and Very Games on CT side. Ninjas in Pajamas making more use of defensive smokes. Smoke. I say as exists, throws one over here at Archway side. And they do that to delay these uh, players and force them into making a decision so that they can better rotate. And so that Very Games can't fake them, they can't fake them out, because they don't have enough time to. They have to push. And we still have two smokes up. 35 seconds left and two smokes still up on ninjas in pajamas. So, I think they're going to continue. There goes the other smoke. Laying down smoke. And terrorists trying to push there at apartments. Poor Forrest is low. Or that was Exist, and he was able to... Yeah, Forrest now at one health, able to survive. And Exist grabs the frags. Ninjas in pajamas coming back into this game. But here we go. We have a buy here. AK-47s from Very Games. And they will be going up against FAMAS. So because of the B-250 armor strat, second round buys um, <clears throat> have to be Galils and FAMAS. At least some on the field. And this makes a very interesting um, buy versus uh, sort of half buy here round where Ninjas in Pajamas is going to have a disadvantage even though they just won a bunch of rounds in a row. And Very Games the advantage with those AK-47s. Just the new new Counter-Strike. And Terra at Banana. Looking like they're just getting ready to full-on take Banana. Here is Smith Z pre-shooting spots. He's on fire in this game. On fire. Fire. Waiting for the Q. That was your Q. On fire. Oh, it gets extinguished immediately. Never mind. And uh, Ninjas in Pajamas rotates. They have three players now inside of B. It was an over-rotate because now terrorists can take bombsite A. They can take it. And BK needs to make some noise here. And that was a need thrown. And Terrace will be taking A. Only two players to deal with here. So four versus two at A. One player ready to rotate very quickly. And he's starting to rotate right now. That's going to be good, right? Trying to move back into position. That timing when they can take bombsite A is dwindling away. No, get right's running back to B. Now is the time to take A. They have five players versus two for the retake. And they've taken one down. It is 100% up to Fafleren here to hold off this site. And he turns and does go down by shocks. Exposes himself there. And good smokes there by Very Games to prevent the rotate here from Ninjas in Pajamas. Those smokes were actually to prevent those players from shooting them from CT spawn as they ran through and took A, but it actually served a double purpose, a dual purpose, and allowed them to prevent the CTs from rotating. So this round definitely going to Very Games here. What does that mean for the Nin What? Exist through the window takes out MBK who was hiding in wait um, for Freiburg there as Smith Z pre-shoots the positions. Very Games shots have been just on in this game, especially Smith Z. He uh, look at that! How did he even get that shot? Just brilliant, and that didn't even look real. All right, here comes shots moving in to grab Exist. No, and they will allow Exist to live. Did not give him permission to die. Very Games just took another point. 13 points, setting themselves up for the win here. If they win this round, 
that will spell huge disaster for ninjas in pajamas, because ninjas in pajamas will have to save. So this round here for Vera Games is two rounds, putting them at the match point position, forcing ninjas in pajamas to win out. Very important round for them. Gonna be pushing up B very quickly. Ninjas in pajamas playing it way more passively than Vera Games played it. Sitting back in the site. Freiburg is going to be playing at Spool. And counter terrorist getting ready to push in here. Get right can get smoked out. They do have those smokes for that four smoke still up on Vary Games. There it is. Will he push through it? No, he will not. So it will be Freiburg to hold it off. Does take out the bomb carrier. Buys that much more time and allowing these teams, these players to rotate back over here. Exists now in position to help out. Freiburg is low at 12 health, just trying to wall bang those players, not being too terribly successful at it. Counter terrorists now are ready to retake. Pre shooting all the common spots, but very games are not in them. They've split off all over the place. Expect a player to be at banana. There's always going to be a player banana. Smoke him out. Player banana should push through that. And he will. Here comes Shocks. Does grab the frag too. Good hold off by Very Games. Wow. Ninjas in Pajamas is not playing this map very well. And Very Games now will force. Ni oh, they can. I don't know. Yeah, they can buy. Wow. Ninjas in Pajamas there is going to be buying on this round. And that'll mean next round. If they lose this, will spell disaster. They're not able to get everything that they would like. Three Famas is here. Ninjas in Pajamas is bleeding money. They still want to win this round. They don't want to push this into... or is, They still want to win this round in this game. They don't want to have this go into an overtime. However, Very Games has been playing so strong, there is no indication that they're going to give up at this point and start losing. They are still going strong. They are in the zone. I don't see any signs of stress or anything from Very Games. They are just... I mean, look at Smith. He's running all over the place, playing very um, energetically. Look at him, still moving, continuing to move. Exists. Look at him like, bro, you are moving. I know. All right, two terrorists. We're at B, now rotating back over here at mid. Flaren takes a shot and misses at middle. And pulls back over here at boiler sign, but they saw him go that way. We'll be smoking out the boiler and going left side mid. Here is Exist to hold it off. Oh no, Exist takes a shot to the face. But Faflaren with his FAMAS takes out two players. Now Forrest to hold it off. Two for one sale by Faflaren, keeping his team in this round and in this game. This round is pretty much the game. And it will go to Very Games, putting this thing at a match point. Ninjas in pajamas has to win out with little to no money. And it will be an armor P250 buy here. Oh, they will actually be buying uh, FAMAS there on Faflaren. A shotgun here, Nova from Get Right. Mag 7 by Exist. And we got a rag, two Mag 7s. So we have three shotguns on the field. It's safe to say Very Games is going to win this game. And let's see how Very Games sets up when victory is nigh. When they are so close, they can taste it. Pushing this thing into game number three. They're going to play passive. Smith Z continuing to play very energetically here. Existence. Not very energetic. And terrorists making sure they win this thing. Prenades take and exist down to 12 health. This is looking very bad for ninjas in pajamas. Exist actually pulls back. It's like enough of this. Actually starting to rotate to B. Smith Z has been smoked out. Ooh, trying to spray through that thing. And terrorists getting ready to take bomb site A. They've got the bomb where they can go any way that they want, but they will be pushing out here now. Exists now with 12 health with the Mag 7. Will have to hold this team off by himself. Can he do it? And actually, Smith Z moving into B. Oh, he gets smoked. And flashed as well. Terrorists. Gonna get ready to move into the site now, but we have Flaren. Hiding and wait inside of the site. Forrest coming in from behind with the Mag 7. Grabs shocks and takes out existence. They still have a chance here. Forrest and Faflaren. They're taking that bomb and running over to B. But here is Smith Z. 
Oh, Vavlaren takes him out. Now just going to be NBK. This is the chance for Ninjas in Pajamas to stay in this game. That was completely unexpected. Iron Weed Dave pick up two AK-47s. Now NBK with 29 health. Has to hold off two players with armor. Oh my. Will he do it? And takes out Flaren, making it look easy. Has to play the bomb. Forrest creeping around in the site. Oh, he doesn't have a kit. And will be going for it. Five seconds left. Match point. Doesn't have time to defuse. Grabs the frag, but he doesn't have time. Ten seconds. And Very Games will take this game. Oh no, I expected him to fly a lot further than that. Congratulations to Vera Games pushing this thing into game number three. And that will be that for thank you very much, very much for watching, folks. No owl visions. Interesting to note, let me just make a little note on that. No owl visions thus far in this series. We haven't seen too many um, thrilling displays of heroics, complete wins by just one player. Except maybe Smith Z in that thing, but we caught all the action there. So the, they've been playing very team based, not very individual skill based, which is brilliant. I love it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.